Chris Adnabet, I'm the general manager of Pelican Bay. It is wonderful to gather the Grand Bahama community for the opening of the Pelican Bay Canal House, a facility that has been under planning and construction for several years. Many of you have noticed and commented on that we never had a groundbreaking ceremony and that we have been fairly quiet during the construction, not saying too much of what we are doing. That was intentional. We feel that Grand Bahama over the years have been accustomed to too many announcements, too many groundbreaking ceremonies or projects that never happens. And I'm proud to stand here today in front of a building in front of a building that has not only been commenced, but has actually been completed. I would now like to invite to the podium our Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram. Thank you, thank you, please be seated. Thank you. Thank you, please be seated. Freeport is a city with lots of energy and lots of talent. Um, I'd like to commend you, the youth choir and the Junkanoos and this, this great city of Freeport. Um, Mr. General Manager, I was very pleased that you were able to explain to the residents of Grand Bahama and hopefully elsewhere in the Bahamas your company. I've had the good fortune of living in your hotels in Denmark, Brussels, and uh, someplace else, I don't recall. But it's all the same, first class service. And uh, we are very pleased in the government that your company chose to invest here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Um, and we wish to assure you of our continuing support. I don't normally come to groundbreakings or opening of events. I leave that to others. I've got a Minister of Public Works and Transport who does a wonderful job at that in Nassau. I see him on TV all night the other night. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I am, I am very happy to join you for the official opening of the Pelican Bay's convention facility. It's now called the Canal House. <clears throat> Pelican Bay is considered one of the small treasures of the Bahamas by our Ministry of Tourism. It has long been my own favorite western point, been in the city, and I've been pleased to see you continue to succeed even during this most recent economic downturn internationally and here in Grand Bahama. I have no doubt that your reputation as a quiet, courteous, and well-appointed resort has much to do with the significant repeat business that you enjoy. The addition of this nearly 40,000 square feet, I'm told, of meeting and convention space, new restaurants and additional office space here at Canal House, makes you an ideal location for small conferences and meetings. I want to especially thank the owners and the operators of this special little boutique hotel for your continued investment and interest in our country. I also wish to thank the staff and the management in particular for the service which you provide to your guests, myself included. I wish you continued success, and I wish on this occasion to not speak for any length of time other than to say, I declare your place open. Thank you, good night. As you have probably realized, we do things a little bit different at Pelican Bay, so we are not gonna cut a ribbon. We are gonna ask the Prime Minister to smash a conch shell we know he's a very strong man. And uh, that is going to officially open the canal house when we carry the, uh, the pieces of that conch shell into the canal house and we deposit it at the bed of other conch shells under an Antonius Roberts uh, piece of artwork in our new lobby. 
And that will actually be the end of the formal part of this evening, and then the party can start. Good night, everybody.